and gentlemen, welcome back to another Monster Hunter World Iceborne video with Silas Mustache and today gonna show you guys the Guild Palace Sword and Shield build. So basically this build right here was designed to achieve the highest DPS possible using the brand new Guild Palace Sword and Shield. So without further talking, let's jump straight into the build. So for this build right here, we're gonna be using the Royal Nova Sword, which is a new rate to 12 Sword and Shield that you can craft using the new festive tickets. So now let's take a look at its stats. So, the Royal Nova Sword comes with a throw attack of 378 with 40 hits of white sharpness, 15% affinity, 420 hit and water element, and one level 3 jewel slot. It also has plus 30 defense bonus. Now, for the augments for this build, we're gonna be using one defense increase, which gives us plus 15 defense bonus, and one health regen one, which is going to be enough to keep our health full. Now, for the armor pieces, we're using the Kaiser Crown Beta, the Rex Roar Male Beta, the Kaiser Van Braces Beta, the Kaiser Coil Beta, the Garuga Greaves Beta, and the Handicraft Charm 4. Now with all these pieces and skills together, we've managed to get a throw attack of 463 with 40 hits of purple sharpness, 90% affinity for hitting weak spots, and 100% affinity for hitting wounded parts of the monster. So now let me show you guys all the skills that we have together in this setup right here. So here we have Master's Touch, Critical Eye level 7, Attack Boost level 4, Handicraft level 4, Health Boost level 3, Critical Boost level 3, Weakness Exploit level 3, Peak Performance level 3, Blast Attack level 2, Heat Ward level 1, Latin Power level 1, Free Meal level 1, and Non Elemental Boost level 1. So now let me show you guys all the decorations that we're using in this setup right here. So here we have one Elementless Jewel 2, one Expert Jewel plus 4, one Satiated slash Expert Jewel 4, two Attack Jewels 1, three Flawless slash Vitality Jewels 4, one Tenderizer Jewel 2, and three Critical Jewels 2. So that's pretty much it for the build guys, now I'm gonna show you guys a small demonstration here in the training area so you can actually see what I'm talking about here. So thank you for watching guys, and now check this out!
that's pretty much it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed the video please don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe for more Monster Hunter Iceborne videos like that. So thank you for watching guys and until the next episode, see you!